Welcome to my allotment. Today I'm going to tell you about squashes and courgettes and pumpkins and giving you some hints and tips on how to grow them and also when to pick them. So if you've not already subscribed to my channel, please, please can you do so? So you'll get lots of helpful hints and tips from my allotment, my home garden and also my home kitchen. So I've got a selection of squashes, courgettes and pumpkins. One top tip I will say is I always plant my courgettes across the edge of the pathway because they get really overgrown and then you can't find the courgettes. Now, the courgettes you pick when they're big enough to pick. I see lots of questions, when are they ready? You know, should I pick them now? Well, do you know what? You can pick them from as little as your finger to bigger. The main thing to remember with courgettes, if you wait for them to get too big, that the plant will stop producing as many. So personally, I don't wait for them to get really big and turn into marrows. I pick them probably in between this size here. So quite small. And then this size here. You know, what you'll find is they do grow incredibly quickly and you will get the odd one that sneaks up on you and gets quite big and can hide under a leaf. So it's worth having a bit of a look around just to make sure you've got them all. But that's how you pick squashes, uh, that's how you pick courgettes. With squashes, there are so many different varieties and I've seen lots of people saying, are they the right colour? Do I cut the shoots? Blah, blah, blah. Well, squashes are lots of different colours. So they will be whatever you, the seeds you've got and they're not, they don't, they don't all look the same. They do all look quite different. I get, people ask about cutting side shoots off and what do I do with them? Do you know what? I used to and I didn't get such good production and someone gave me a top tip to not cut the side shoots off, to literally let the squashes and the pumpkins just do what they want to do, you know, unless they go particularly crazy and you, they're going to encroach on an area where they really mustn't go. What I do, if I get a, a side shoot that's getting a little bit too big like this, I'll just move it. So I'll lift it up and I'll just guide it back into the squash patch. Um, something else I would do, if, I, if, it, if it keeps pinging back, I would stick a stick down the side to point it in the direction that I want it to go in. So I, as much as possible, never trim off squashes or pumpkins. And I always get a really, really good selection each year. They're really hungry plants, so I do feed them quite regularly. So with a, with a, good, with a good feed. Um, and obviously they do need watering. So, you know, every third day, if it doesn't rain. Um, some people, in my opinion, water too much. With any plants, apart from if they're seedlings and they do need watering, regularly like every other day you just put seeds in if it doesn't rain something like um, anything that's established if you water it too much the roots won't go down into the ground and they'll rely on you watering them too much so i would say as a general rule of thumb if it doesn't rain water them every third day you know that's something that my grandfather taught me many years ago and it's it's made life a lot easier otherwise you make a rod for your own back and you make maintaining your plants a lot harder now with squashes and pumpkins, unlike courgettes, when you pick them, when they're literally big enough to eat, with squashes and pumpkins, you leave them on the plant to mature until around September, October time. It does all depend how early you've put them in and how much they've matured. The reason you do that is because you store winter squashes over the winter and into the early spring, um, and they won't taste sweet. They won't taste right if you pick them off as soon as they've formed. They actually generally change colour. Like a lot of my squashes at the moment are green. Um, I have got a yellow one in there. Um, and as they mature, the colour on them actually changes. The skin firms up and they naturally cure. Now, um, I will show you this process as it happens, but I would never pick any squashes or pumpkins in July. Never, ever. Definitely not time yet. So I will show you what they start to look like as mine mature, so you have a bit of an idea. So I really hope this has given you some really helpful hints and tips. And if you've got any questions, please, as ever, put them in the comments and we'll do our best to answer them.